This is my 2013 Ducati Pentagalli R. I've added a few custom parts to it, so I'm going to do a quick walk around. We have the Duca Bikes clear clutch cover. It looks pretty fantastic. We also have Duca Bikes rear sets that are adjustable in many, many ways, as you see here. Easily adjustable with an Allen wrench. And I think they look pretty fantastic too, and they're very comfortable. This uh, has uh, some rigidness for added um, to keep your foot planted there. We have CNC racing bits right there. We also have Rizoma brake reservoirs. We have one there. We also have Rizoma folding levers. These are the Rizoma feel levers folding and they adjust pretty easily. This nozzle right there, and they look pretty great. And I like the way the aluminum goes with the tank inlays and some of the other aluminum pieces that are on the bike. We have EvoTech radiator guards for the top and the bottom to make sure that if your radiator, you know, if you hit a uh, rock or something while you're on one of your country runs, your trip's not going to be ruined because your radiator's smashed and inoperable. That, my friend, is a must-have on a sport bike, radiator guards. We also have an Earth-X lithium-ion battery installed on this motorcycle and it weighs um, just uh, four pounds, so uh, it's pretty light and it helps the bike start up a little, a little more quickly. And also you don't need to attach it to a battery tender if you're storing your bike over the winter. Um, Duca bike rear sets. I've already made some adjustments to them and have them um, working pretty nicely with my race boots that I wear when I'm riding. We also have CNC racing bits on the back too. We replaced the chain and sprockets. We have an EK 3D 520 chain on this motorcycle, gold. And you can see that all of the links are in gold. That's what uh, the 3D business is all about. We have a flange cover there, also by CNC Racing. Black nuts. These are driven sprockets. The front is a stock, uh, stock steel sprocket. The rear is an aluminum 41 tooth sprocket. We went with the stock gearing. It was working well for me, so. I didn't need to change it. So I have a red knot up there. I uh, temporarily installed this uh, fender eliminator, but I'm going to get an integrated unit over the winter. That's by Evil Tech, but it cleaned up the back much, much more than uh, the stock mud flap that was on the motorcycle. So that's about it. That was a quick walk around with my Pinagalli R. I am in the process of doing a comparison video of my uh, Pinagalli and the HP4 right here. And uh, I'll have that posted to my channel very shortly. Alright, thank you for viewing this brief walk around video of my Pentagalli R, and stay tuned for more videos.